Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how you can share your Looker Studio dashboard or report and how you can automate it as a scheduled deliverable. If you're satisfied with the way your report looks and you're ready to share it with stakeholders, there are a few ways that you can do this. You have a share button up here along with a drop down menu. If you click on the share button, you can invite individual people or groups and you can actually give them specific access. So on the right, there's a drop down menu. You can set their role to viewer or editor. Once you're ready, you can send that to them and you can adjust the link settings. So in the unlisted drop down menu here, you'll see you can restrict the view, make sure it's unlisted or set it to public so that anyone can access it. So right now, this is set to anyone on the internet with the link can view. You can change that if you want and then you can copy the link. This is especially useful if your stakeholders don't have a Google account set up. But if you want team members or stakeholders to possess the ability to edit the report, then they need to set up a Google account with their email address. The email address that you use to invite them to view or share this report. You can click on the gear icon up top to prevent editors from changing access or adding new people. You can also disable downloading, printing, and copying for viewers as well. If you click on the drop down, you can also schedule email delivery. You can choose to send all pages in the report, or if you click on the pages drop down, you can select the specific pages that you want to send. So you can determine the frequency which you want this email report to be delivered. You have daily, weekly, monthly options, as well as custom options. You can customize the email message as well. This is what the deliverable looks like in email. At the top, you have a link to the report in Looker Studio. There's also the pages that the recipient can view right in the email and there's also an attachment in PDF format. To edit or delete an existing schedule, click on the share dropdown and click schedule delivery again. And you can edit the schedule here or if you wanna delete it, click on these three dots in the upper right corner here and you can choose to delete the schedule. There's also a link report which we saw from the share button and you can download the report as well. You can download specific pages and you can configure additional options. For example, protecting your report with a password as well. In order to embed this into a web page, what you'll do is click on share drop down menu and then choose embed report. So it's enabled for embedding and there are two options you can choose. You can embed with this code provided here, or you can just embed the URL where you would just copy and paste this URL in a field for your website so that it'll just appear on the web page. But we're going to go with the embed code, and it gives you these fields for width and height, and you can adjust those if you want but we're just going to go with the default just to show you what that looks like. So click on copy to clipboard and I'm going to go to this website that I have set up with this post and I'm going to make sure that this is in HTML mode. So you can do this with any website where you can edit the HTML. For example, if you have WordPress and are using theme that allows you to embed HTML code, then you can use that and just paste your code right here. 
Before your Data Studio dashboard or report goes live on your website, make sure you have the correct sharing configuration enabled. So go back to Data Studio, and at the top, click on this Share button, and click on Manage Access. And make sure this dropdown reads, Anyone with a link can view. By default, it's off, only specific people can access. So make sure you choose the correct option that anyone with the link can view. Otherwise, if it's off, if the sharing access is off, then users who don't have access to the report won't be able to see the dashboard or the report on your web page. And then save it. Since I already have that feature enabled, I'm just going to click close. And then go back to my web page here. So we can just preview this. And this is our 600 by 450 Data Studio report. So this is what it looks like. And you, you can see how it looks on tablet, mobile. Scroll through it, interact with it. Let's just switch this back to desktop and go back to our post. Now for the width, I'm going to change this 600 pixels to 100%. It looks a bit better, taking up more space. And since the height is only 600 pixels, it also gives us a, a scroll bar here to indicate that there's more content in this report. Let's publish it. Yes, confirm. And then we'll go view the blog, click on the page, scroll, yep, the report does scroll down. And there are a couple elements in this bottom toolbar here. So there's a navigation for, for the page, you click on the previous page or next if you have more pages, or you can use this menu to navigate through the pages in the report. You can also open the report in Google Data Studio, or you can click on the full screen option and then interact with the report this way. Exit out of the full screen if you want. So that's what it looks like. So if you found this useful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more content on digital analytics, including tracking, reporting, analysis, we'll see you in the next episode.